like this episode? You already, I already did, did that. that. Yep, I already just, did that. Just, just edit it in here, Jeff. Welcome everybody, it's Jeff from J&K Stay in Vegas and got a new series for you today, Vegas News and Tips with Vegas People. And today I have Mark from The Other Me. What's up, Mark? What's going on, my friend? Nice you... to see you. Thanks for having me in the pilot episode. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, as Mark said, this is the pilot episode. Mark is a absolutely amazing photographer and videographer and uh, he has his Other Me channel and I you know what? I think I even brought your keychain with me, but I just forgot that. I gotta so. get some more of those made. <laughs> yeah. So we're down here with Mark, and Mark does a lot of Fremont Street, if you're not aware of. I'm sure you're very aware. A lot of our subscribers are on Mark's channel and vice versa. And uh, just wanted to kind of start a new series here where we're talking about some of the things happening in Vegas. Just to let you know on some of the uh, tips and everything that we recommend from being in town all the time. Mark is a true local, born and raised here in Vegas. So he has a lot of insight and that's why I wanted him on the first part of this <laughs> series. So, Mark, first of all, how you doing? Not too bad, how are you? Good, good. It, it's, been a, uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks with this heat. This is getting higher and higher and higher and higher. So. Yeah, we are yeah. currently in the uh, last week of June. It's only gonna get better from here. Ha ha, wink, wink. Yeah. Since Mark does a lot of Fremont Street, we thought we'd cover what's been going on downtown. Stay to the end, Mark's gonna have a really cool tip for you and uh, maybe some pros and cons of Fremont versus Las Vegas Strip. So, Mark, did you hear that actually that they're doing that whole expansion at the Plaza Hotel at downtown? I heard about it and I'm excited to see what they do because the Plaza is pretty much a staple to downtown. It's been down there for so long and um, it used to be called the Union Plaza. When I was a kid, I used to break dance there when I was in high school. Um, but when you go in now, it's dated. So yeah. I was excited to see that they're going to uh, do a remodel in the front or yeah. wherever they're doing it. And, and I'm, I'm hoping that uh, it brings it brings it to life pretty good. But I love the outside of the plaza. The outside of the plaza, it just screams retro Vegas with it the does. big lights and the plaza. It it's, it's just one of my favorite uh, casinos down there on... Uh, Fremont Street. And not to mention it was Biff's in yeah. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. I say that every time I live stream. I go, I know, oh, right? Biff's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't know, Mark always streams live on Friday nights, so you got to check him out. We do Saturdays, usually in the Strip or Fremont. And um, yeah, so down there, you've actually done a video. So one of the new additions that they have is Pink Box Donuts, which are amazing. You've actually, I think you've done a video, haven't you? I have not done a video at Pink Box yet. No, huh? -uh. Did, I don't. I mean, I, knew, I heard they were building one downtown, but I haven't seen it yet, so this is news you got before I do. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, they are building a pink box down there. That's going to be, so if you were looking right at the plaza from Fremont Street, it would be on your left-hand side is what oh, they're saying. Oh, cool. So they're still going to have the whole lights there and everything underneath Oscar's Steakhouse. And then underneath there, they are going to have a like carousel bar as they call it yeah with like animated things whatever it looks kind of cool it looks updated and then off to the if you're looking that way if, off to the right side they're going to have an extension of oscar steakhouse so they're going to have a whole outdoor patio that's going to overlook uh fremont and all that stuff so this will be pretty cool yeah outdoor patio in vegas so your food stays warm while you're eating it <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, it'll be definitely nice in the fall and spring, and I mean, when it, when the sun goes down, it's okay. Yeah, no, it, it's it's not too bad. Um, yeah. I mean, we do have we do have a few days in summer where it's still 105 at night, but summer, you know, as I, as I'm getting older, it's uh, I'm, I'm beginning to appreciate it a little bit more yeah. than I did when I was younger. Yeah, it's always so, the way it is, right? Yeah. Perspective? Yeah, perspective. Knees don't hurt that much in the heat. So <laughs> yeah. You got to kind of get used to it. Yeah, you're so. like, well, at least in the cold, you know, my knees hurt. And, then, and I definitely get that. My right knee always gets yeah. me. I'm sweating. Does. I feel like I'm about to die, but I can walk. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, so the Plaza's doing that. Um, the other thing that I found was really interesting, they actually did a live stream of their press release. And they specifically called out, they said, this is going to be Instagram and YouTube friendly. That I saw. That's really cool because 
they're allowing creators to go in and film and rate and uh, make videos. And that is is pretty awesome. And I'm I'm really looking forward to that. And I wish some of these other casinos would follow suit, but there are reasons why they don't. Well, why, why there's issues? So yeah, and but I mean at the same time though, I mean with the with the influence of like TikTok and everything. Mm. So they don't want you filming and all of a sudden some guy is there and he's mm -hmm. playing around and messing around with, you know, behind the back of his wife or something like that. So, you know, we get that. And uh, but, you know, at the same time, we love these hotels. We love bringing the information to you guys. And, um, you know, it's sometimes kind of difficult. So having them say outright that social media friendly, i.e. Instagram, TikTok and all that stuff. Um, and YouTube, uh, that is a really good sign. That is um, probably one of the best things I've heard for down there. Um, well, for any of uh, any of us that create that try to promote the city, I think that's uh, I think that's a door opener. Yeah. And I think that when other casinos see, or not just casinos, resorts, restaurants, businesses, when 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 they start to see the kind of uh, growth or uh, attention that it's going to get from allowing YouTubers to do that, I think it might open more doors for us to uh, at least be welcomed in. A lot of a lot of places will let us film, but they're, they're just, you know, they keep an eye on you, they watch everything you're doing, and, and I think this right here will be the segue into yeah, a little I bit think, easier. Yeah, and I think hopefully it'll set a, a little bit of a precedence that, you know, that, hey, you know, free publicity, we're doing all the work and sweating in this summer heat, you know, um, we're not trying to trying to catch anybody or mm -hmm. anything like that. We're trying to show you guys the newest restaurants, the newest things to do. Mm -hmm. On that same tip, I did hear that, and I don't know if this is true, and maybe you do, that Four Queens is pretty lenient now about photography. Have you heard that at all? They haven't been, because I sit at the Four Queens patio bar and the security always comes out. They never, they've never once given me any grief about being out there, as a matter of fact, um, props to the Four Queens security guards. I was in the patio bar, I was filming, somebody was inebriated and they got really mad at me and started screaming and actually kind of uh, confronted me about it and was demanding that they get to see the footage. I wasn't allowed to film them and I was like, look man, you're on a public street. I can film whatever I want down here. I'm not filming you, you might be in the background, but I'm not actually filming you. Right. And security came out and they handled the whole situation. They made the guy leave. Wow. So, and that was, um, that's nice. It was a while back, but as far as going into Four Queens, I haven't uh, I haven't really filmed in there. I filmed in the Golden Gate for the first time like a month or so ago because mm -hmm. the security guard recognized me and I said, "Hey, can I go in there with my camera?" I said, "Yeah, you can come in." Oh. So, but that's uh, you know, that's a property that goes with Circa and the D and uh, they're kind of lenient about filming the machines. But again, they don't want you to film the patrons, which is what we we don't usually film patrons. Right. You know, they might get caught in the background, but we're not actually watching right. them you know right so. exactly exactly yeah i mean on that same tip it's like when you've got some of these other properties you don't know it could be just the security guard having a bad day exactly and so you know there might be a rule and even when this takes over and they say yeah welcome in plaza you know take as many pictures as you want and all of a sudden you know a week or two goes by and then that's some security guard just says uh what are you doing yeah so you know it's it's always going to be a challenge. It, it is, and when uh, when Fremont Street opened back up, we walked through the Golden Nugget with I had a full gimbal, full camera setup, I had everything walked through, and the head of security guard, the head head of security guards, the head of security literally saw me, came up to me, shook my hand, and walked me through the casino to show me everything that wow. was going on in there. And then, and I mean, you're, you got to go way back to see that, but it's it's all there. And then introduced me to like the executives that were there and they were like very welcoming, shook my hand. Oh, this is so awesome. Thank you for coming in and show me the pool and everything. And then, and then skip a year. Yeah. Whereas we come to security guards, I'm walking through there doing a live stream and security grabbed me and started yelling at me, told me I wasn't allowed to film in there. And I'm like, well, your head of security has always let me film in here. And he's yeah. like, you can't do that in here. So a lot of times and I would, if you're going to film a video in a casino, I would try to let their media department know and uh, see if you get the blessing, then you're all right. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, and that's that's definitely the challenge right there. It's like mm -hmm. a lot of people even ask on our live streams, I mean, signal, uh, bearing in mind the signal may drop out on you, yeah. but, you know, a lot of times they're like, hey, show this casino, show that casino. 
and you know, it's difficult because you never know what's going to happen, and it's it's uh, it can be frustrating. That's I, for sure. It's very frustrating because I get the same comments. Please go inside here. I'm like, guys, I can't. We're not allowed to film in there. Right. So. Exactly. Exactly. So another thing that actually is coming down to Fremont Street is actually to the Fremont Casino. So I know you've walked around there, and I have too. So on the back side of the the old Fremont Casino, they're building a food hall, not a food court, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, they're building a food hall, and so that is expanding all the way down to Ogden by yeah. Pizza Rock. I know you have been there on that. Oh yeah, lots of times. Pizza Rock is a great place for pizza. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna extend all the way towards that section by Downtown Grand. So Downtown Grand and Pizza Rock are across the street from each yep. other. And uh, so those are really two great places. But that Fremont Casino um, expansion, I haven't, I've seen a couple renderings, nothing that really looks that amazing yet, but I just like that there's a lot of things happening now right. downtown on Fremont Street. I like to see, um, I like to see them improving down there. Yep. Um, I haven't looked at any renderings yet, so you're one up on me. I don't know if they're gonna, if it's gonna be fast food, if they're gonna be restaurants in there like they have here in yeah. the park, uh, where you can walk through and there's Italian restaurants and burger places and things like that. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know, but the good thing about it is they're opening up downtown with more food selection yeah. than just pizza and burgers. So yeah. hopefully we'll uh, we'll get something really really good down there. And then if it, you know, and then if you want say like the fancy restaurant so to speak, I mean you always have something like Barry's yes. Prime at Circa and uh, that's a that's a great meal in itself. So there's a lot of different choices. I think that's why a lot of people to this day like coming down to Fremont. Not only you get free music, you can walk around with your alcohol you can socialize with your friends and not be, you know, slammed. And I think that's what you bring across in your live streams on Friday nights. It's such a party down there. I mean, I wish you could go down there on Saturdays, but I always, you know, I always have uh, family commitments and things yeah. on the weekend. So uh, Saturday is the night I really get jumping. But Friday is like when everybody comes into town. It's when, they, it's when they're starting to let loose. And it's, it's so much fun to see people partying and um, not so much drinking, just having a good time, laughing and that like like we're talking about everything is down there that you could possibly need you mm -hmm. got your food you got bars you got the casinos you got the pools you got everything that you could possibly need to have in vegas is right there in that one little area yeah and yep. then you just go one block down to the east district which is now starting just to blossom over by container park yep and you have you know establishments that have been there for a while as well as you know like evil pie yep. which I know Love you Love know. Evil Pie. Evil Pie is another mm, great pizza yeah. place. Uh, and uh, we actually started a live stream in there. It was actually my first time I was in there. Oh, really? It was quite <laughs> chaotic, but it was uh, fun. It was good. You know, anything with pizza has got my name yeah, all Oh, yeah. Right. I love pizza. Yeah. Pizza and tacos are life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you have Fremont Street East on there as well as the where the Viva Vision and the Fremont Street experience, the zip line and all that. So if you, have, if you don't know about that, definitely go check that out. You got more of a local vibe. You got some, you know, local artists down there. Uh, lots of different things. Very creative, um, and so it's always good to support local businesses. I, and that's that is the like the number one thing. I love to support local business. It's uh, it's what makes the whole wheel, the gears turn. And um, uh, quick tip. If, if, if you make good tacos, <laughs> please come to Fremont Street and open an establishment. We have every single kind of, of food down there you can think of, and we do have a taco place that's inside, uh, right inside the Neonopolis, right when you come out, right when you come through into Fremont Street Experience to the right in the Neonopolis, there's, there's like a little food court already built on Fremont Street, mm -hmm. and there is a taco place in there, but we need, we need some good Mexican food restaurant some, down there on Fremont Street. Some kind of Cali tacos. Yep. Uh, yep. I that's agree what you. we need. That's what we need. Because we got every other ethnic food in the world down there. We don't have a really good taco place yet. I would concur with that because, you know, coming originally from Southern California, I mean, we've been here 10 years and I would agree with that. That's something definitely Fremont Street needs as well. Yeah, everybody said Juana Taco was really good and it, that was in the Four Queens right there off the patio bar, but it's not opening back up. Oh. Um, it's staying closed. Never got to try it. Really wish I could have, because I'd sit out there on Fridays and just eat tacos and yeah. have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's an update for you. I didn't even know that, that they yeah. weren't opening back up. Nope, not opening back up. So speaking of Fremont Street, so what do you think is like the, like kind of the pros and cons, what do you think? You've lived here all your life, like I was saying earlier, 
you know the city as better than anybody. What would you say is kind of some pros to Fremont and pros to the Strip versus some cons? What What would you say? The The pros to the Strip is, I would have to say it's um, it's elegance, it's uh, it's beauty. It, it's like two separate worlds from from when you go to the Strip to the Fremont Street experience or downtown. It, it's it's two totally different things. The pros about Fremont Street are that everything is in one condensed area, so you don't have to walk miles and miles and miles and miles to, to get to where you're going. And you at least you know. have the shade of the canopy yep. and you in have the daytime. The, you have the shade of the canopy in the daytime. On the west side, it's 20 degrees cooler than it is outside because the air conditioning from the casinos blows across and you get trapped in like oh, a wind isn't that tunnel. Oh, the best yeah. feeling it's, in yeah. the world? <laughs> it's so awesome, especially when you're live streaming. Yeah, exactly. Um, the Strip... You want shade, you're going to have to find it like we did right here. Yeah. You're going to do some walking. Um, there is, I mean, you see them on TV and movies. Everything looks like it's right there, but there are big gaps between these casinos. Yeah. And you have to walk outside, then back in. So there's a lot of walking on the Strip. Yeah. The, the pros to the Strip, I think, is you have more of a selection down here. Yeah. You have a way wider selection of things to do down here than you do on Fremont Street. We have a whole area where you got Dolce Gabbana and Prada and all the shopping in the world, all the major chefs that you've seen on TV or you yep. know, just popular chefs, they all have restaurants down here. We have a couple of those on Fremont Street, nothing major, but um, that, that's to me are the pros and cons. The con is when you're on the strip, you're in the sun. There yeah. are places to get some shade, but you are in the sunlight and this is where it's gonna bake you yeah but it's las vegas you know yeah a lot of those things about fremont and the strip you know so many people have they a lot of them will just have their diehard opinions about i'm never going the strip or i can't stand fremont street you know and there's a lot of that because with fremont street like we were saying earlier it's very casual you can go around and the best thing is all the free music but you cannot mistake like the strip for like the shows like right behind us, Dolby Live, Silk Sonic, yeah. Plate has a residency, which by the way is an amazing show. Jay took me there of Jaycation, took me to see uh, Silk Sonic. We had a little bro date. Cool. And uh, I, I only knew one of their songs, and it's Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack, and it was just like a Vegas show. They're both talented musicians. But anyway, I mean the strip. You can't beat the strip for any kind of restaurant that you'd want. Nah. And you can get any kind of, you can even get everything from high end to some cool happy hour deals like in Miracle Mile shops, right? Yeah. So there's just so much that you can do. But like you said, you got to walk it. So oh, you got to yeah. prepare. And especially in the summer, you really got to prepare. Yeah, you got to do, there's a lot of walking to do down here. But like he says, there is such a variety of things you can do here that you're not going to be able to do on the Fremont Street. The shows down here are amazing. My favorite show, by the way, was Beatles Love. And, oh, um, yeah. yeah. Beatles that's, Love that's, was amazing. That's, that's right there. And then back in the day, because I've lived there my whole life, it was Splash. Yeah. Splash was a really, really? cool show. Yeah. My friend Gary was the bike rider at the end that rode the bikes and the there was a half pipe. Oh, that's cool. They, they rolled two ramps out and he rode the bike on the on those and he flew out and the audience went and landed landed on somebody's table. Whoa! Yeah, yeah it was crazy. So the, they in between sets they would come out and mop the stage because it was a it was a tank show. It was a okay. water show. Okay. And they'd mop the stage and then they'd bring the ramps out. Well, he slipped. He hit he hit the ramp and he slipped oh, coming wow. across and flew right off into the audience. So was he but that okay? Was, yeah, he was fine and uh, he did hit somebody, but they ended up being okay too. Wow. And. Um, I just think that uh, the Strip is, it's, I've said this before, uh, Las Vegas is a big neighborhood, mm -hmm. and the Strip is the area of the neighborhood where the lawns are well kept, <laughs> and, and uh, Christmas lights come down right after Christmas, and Fremont Street is the rental house <laughs> at the end of the street, at the corner <laughs> as you're pulling in, that has all the wild parties. Right. That's Fremont Street. That's, yeah. that, that's my analogy for Fremont Street. But, no, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. I mean, they are trying to, you know, give you a little bit of options with the Circa being down there. Yeah. Although, you know, truth be told, I think they kind of came out blazing a little, little too big for the mm. britches. And, you know, they had some ridiculous prices on room rates. And I just saw that they had a pretty cool, actually, a couple of days stay for 300 bucks. Well, that's not bad if it's a couple yeah. of days, yeah. And they, they gave, gave you a mission to Stadium Swim, I think some uh, slot credit mm. and some dinner credit. So for 300 bucks, I don't know if that special is still going on. 
but all the resorts that are that are owned by him uh, you get admission to Stadium Swim. So if you're staying at the D or the Golden Gate, you get admission to Stadium Swim. You don't have to be staying at Circuit to get into that pool. Yeah, Derek mm -hmm. Stevens, that's a yeah. great tip. Mm -hmm. Derek Stevens owns the D, Golden Gate, and the Circa. Yep. So that is really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different decisions and uh, opinions, I should say, about Fremont versus the Strip, but hey, there's something for everybody. That's why we love Vegas, right? Exactly. Some of the best places you're gonna be able to go in, in Vegas are local restaurants. So when you come to Las Vegas, I know the Strip has a, an appeal and Fremont Street has an appeal, and of course we want you to visit those areas because that's why we make the content that we make is to to blow up our town, to, to show you all the great things. But there are a lot of phenomenal local restaurants in this town that are half the cost of Strip and Fremont prices and have better food. So do your research, check out some of these local establishments, you'll be better for it. Yeah, and there's actually uh, one of a very popular barbecue place, Jesse's Barbecue. Jesse Ray's. Right, yep, mm -hmm. Jesse Ray's is right over here off of Valley View. Literally a short Uber lift ride if you don't have a car or anything like that. Just get that and get over there and uh, get some great food. Exactly. Just like what you're talking about, just off the strip. I wanna say, especially too, when, when you know, we've lived here 10 years and when we used to come, it, and I know a lot of people are like this. You, you're in this world, especially on the Strip, and you think, oh, I can't go over there. You know, you're, you're scared to like venture out, and you don't, you don't know what's out there. And I think that's a lot of times, which is really good, uh, for when you know we tell you about some of these, you know, places out there, and you think, wow, people actually live in Vegas. Oh yeah. You're like, yeah, right. you know, who's doing all the food and everything else. But it is kind of funny that that mentality you have when you come to Vegas, because I had that too. And the reason why is because we actually visited a friend that lived in Vegas. This was way back in like late 90s. Yeah. And it was literally probably just up uh, Russell and a couple streets up that way. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, where are we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's just it's it's dumb, but you, it's just kind of the mindset you get in because you're like, okay, I want to go to Mandalay Bay, I want to go to the you know whatever hotel, the Mirage, and everything else. So you just get in that mindset. So it's just kind of funny. Yeah, and I I, I agree. Uh, but Vegas has changed so much since the '90s. Yeah, it's a different looking place than it was when I was growing up here. But uh, like I said, support local. You'll you'll uh, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it quite a bit. I, I guarantee it. Born and raised here, lived here my entire life. Love the restaurants on the Strip. Love all the other uh, casinos and the establishments. Local restaurants here in town are just, they're top notch. So Mark, you just hit 10,000 subscribers <laughs> on YouTube. I want to congratulate you, Thank man. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. You've been and working so hard and uh, I've learned a lot from you and uh, hopefully we'll get there soon. Uh, we're only a couple away now from 9,000, so that's good. You're going to be the real quick you well, had a great hopefully. live stream last night and 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 honestly when i when he says like we i had ten thousand, you guys hit ten thousand. that was all because of you that the the reason why our channels are where we are or that we have the the followings is because of you guys yeah so, i agree um ten thousand is as much yours as it is mine and when he hits ten thousand, it'll be as much as yours as it is his. yeah because without you there wouldn't be no you know there wouldn't be us so. and and i let people know that all the time too it's like you know it we try to provide all this information as well. The whole thing is not about us. It's, it's, there are a lot of channels where it is, but that's not the way we do it. And I think that's why we get along well, because we have the similar styles of really trying to provide you guys information and just some fun too, and uh, just kind of let you know what's going on. Too. Yeah, exactly. I like to, uh, your, your channel is, for news and what's happening in Vegas, this is the man right here. I'm telling you right now, this is this is the guy to watch. Him and Kay are uh, just, I mean, you guys are awesome at what you do. You really are. Oh, and and I love Kay to death. Yeah. Uh, Kay's, Kay was there for me at one of the hardest points of my life. And for that reason alone, um, vow my eternal servitude. So oh, That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, she's such an awesome person. And um, Mine is more like I try to mix living here with... Well, yeah, let's talk about that. So, Mark, what can people expect now that you've hit the 10,000 subscribers? What can they expect? Where Where is the other me? So if you don't know, it's the other me with a few E's after it, right? Oh, no, no, that's only on Instagram. It's just the other me on, on YouTube. Okay, yeah. just the other me on YouTube. So mm -hmm. tell the nice people out there what they can expect from the other me channel. You're going to... 
I am trying to branch out just a little bit more onto the bigger news um, subjects that are happening in Vegas. Um, and I tried to mix, or I'm gonna continue to try to mix, my videos are not just like, if I go do a food review, I'm not just gonna go do, I'm gonna walk in there. I try to mix it with the fun. I'm not just gonna walk in and say, here's the price, this is what I ordered, and this is what I got. I try to make it look like you guys are there with me. So that's how my videos are. So I'm gonna continue to do that, but I'm gonna be adding a lot more news-worthy uh, videos to my channel about what's going on around Vegas not just inside it, like the whole lake thing right now is one of those things, right. so. Right, oh, that sounds cool. Um, yeah, so he, you definitely gotta follow and subscribe to The Other Me on YouTube. He's on Instagram as well. Put those links on the screen as well as in the description below. And any final thoughts, Mark, on our first episode of Vegas News and Tips with Vegas People? This You, you gotta, you, you, you got any, enlightening things for the people at home oh enlightening things stay hydrated stay hydrated <laughs> it's 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 actually it's not too bad out here right now no we have and a little nice little enlightening race. follow this guy awesome 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 channel but just come and have fun stay safe yep. um don't overdo it in the heat you know if you're going to come to vegas but just come and have fun and enjoy and uh live your life yeah that's what it is it's all about just go just go do it, and you'll have a you'll have a great time. Well, that's gonna do it for our first episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below on some of the things we talked about. What's your favorite places on Fremont Street and the Strip, and what do you think of all the expansion that's happening down on Fremont Street? Again, everybody, if you like this video, if you kind of like this kind of video podcast, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to J and K Stay in Vegas, and also subscribing again to Mark, the other me. <laughs> on Instagram and YouTube. Do you do the old tiki talk thing? I do TikTok as well. Um, what are you on there? Do you I'm, I'm the other me too. I'm the other okay. me LV on TikTok. There you go. Yep. And we've actually just started our a TikTok as well. So um, vertical filming is all I'm gonna say. Pain in the butt. I film vertical with my phone and then I edit it on my computer and put it back on my phone to upload it. We as filmmakers hate vertical, mm, but yeah. you have to, but it's a new thing yeah. and people are on there. And so we're trying to give a whole new audience, maybe a glimpse that maybe has never seen us before. So anyway, again, everybody hit thumbs up, turn on all those bell notifications, all that fun stuff, subscribe. And until the next one, stay safe and stay silly. Bye-bye right. everybody. Later guys. Please hang up and try again. Mark from the other me. Where? I don't oh, know. hi. <laughs> there he went. There he went. Jesus keeps walking behind us, too. Oh, yeah. Lay down the traffic report a little bit, okay? <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati, it's what it sounds like when you're talking. And there were so many things that I kept screwing up that I literally turned the video around from not us just being there, from like the whole behind the scenes of the whole video being made. All the screw ups every time you, oh, it was the coffee crawl. Every take I kept doing, trying to end it, I left all that shit in and people ate it up. Mm. Yep, they like to see the BTS stuff. Yeah, that is cool.